My dear people, welcome to the show, Wino Get Name. And this is your host, Cousin Wino Get Name. But you can also call me Ezefa. Ezefa Kego, meaning, well, cannot comprehend a good name. In other words, a good name is better than well. And also, you can also call me Oroko Gide. I'm your host of the show, We Not Get Name. I hope you all are doing well. I hope say, on our body sets. I hope say, everything we well, want they go through. Say, it shall all be well. It will be all right. As I quickly kick this up for the day, first, we get different kind of news for today, but I'll be very brief. I'll be very brief. Uh, we're going to start with our very own chess master, our blood, our pekin. Tunde Onakoya in the try break world record for chess. As the chess master is trying to break the Guinness world record, I believe say in a try do this thing for New York, it be like oh. Yeah. But I can see one video where in they talk about himself. And let me see if I can get that briefly, you know, and let's let, let's celebrate him a little bit. <laughs> born in a small place in Lagos, Nigeria called Ikorodu, a really small place, a slum community. 19 years ago, I was 10 and I had just completed my primary school education. There was no money to go to school anymore, so my parents told me, you know what, you have to stop going to school and do something to support the family. So I had to drop out of school at the age of 10. So I was out of school for two years. And in those two years, something happened. I found the gift of chess in a very unlikely place. I found the gift of chess at a barber shop, a local barber shop where we would just go and sit and just watch him play. And I asked him the first time I ever saw a chess board. It was love at first sight. And I asked him, what does this do? What does this mean? And he held up the night piece the one that looks like a horsey. And he said, what does this look like? And I said, oh, that's a donkey. And he laughed and he said, no, it's not a donkey. It's a knight. And that was the first time um, I got introduced to the world of chess. And it was one that I was deeply fascinated by. For a 10-year-old kid who had very little education and exposure and couldn't speak any English word, it was important that I had found something that was going to become my intellectual identity. I didn't know it at the time, but finding chess gave me something. It gave me an identity, an intellectual one. And it made me believe that I could also be intellectually. So in other words, I hope say the audio, you know, not day too low. I don't know all these videos, where did they send me? Well, we're gonna try and prove. Now, small, small. But anyway, Tunde Onakoya, you know, they give us in life history as it starts from the slum. From the slum to now trying to achieve greatness. You know, growing up in poverty and finding chess at a young age. Uh, Income records say, now chess give them um, identity. In comfort in love with chess. In fun they understand that chess they work. And now, now the same chess help and get education. Now he help and get scholarship. In a way, in they represent in schools for tournaments. And now, you know, in the in, in get company where 
uh, non-profits, in other words, you know, they make money from them, um, is using it to help educate children across Africa. And so far, more than 10,000, you know, uh, my dear, more grease to your elbow. You did try, you are doing a great job, you know, uh, that video was from DLD conference on YouTube, so we just, you know, use and they, you know, make gonna hear a voice, make gonna listen to a real person. But anyway, as we move on to other news, uh, the other news for here where we get for now, you know, it's not very encouraging. There are many keys to this story. And I have talked about it before. But make when I hear, if when I hear him, I hope say this one go play. I don't try to get to this Lolo video. But more when I hear him, you know. Uh, more when I hear him, may we see. But before we move on, I bet me when I clap for, you know, Tunde on Akoya. Thank you, thank you. Let's celebrate him. Let's celebrate him. It's not easy. When in the past you do your own, all of us, we hail him. Now, this is a young man, you know. Thank you, Linda Bassi, for trying to... Up it. I'll not be Linda, I'm not Hilda. <laughs> I don't give a new name. Hilda Bassi, you know, the cook, ch chef. <laughs> as, as Hilda, you know, can't break record. Everybody now won't come break record. And it's okay, it's an encouragement. And it, it shows us that, you know, Anybody can do it if you set your mind to it. So thank you all as we celebrate Tunde on Akoya. <laughs> now next, we want to go into this not so great news. So may we not, may we not hear up and tell me what you think. Omoko. This Isaac Omoko is a stepbrother to Renu Omoko. And this same pastor, Isaac Mokri, has a mentor. His name is Chief Uli Ibenedu Gibbs. Now, my daughter was 15 years old when this was last year. I learned of the matter recently and I am crying for justice because it, it, the matter went to police and went to court but right now the matter has been compromised. They are doing everything possible to let him go free. The police has been compromised, the judges and the court have been compromised. The case that was at High Court, Dukoti 23, my daughter was by her pastor, Isaac Omokri. This Isaac Omokri. Okay. Now they hear him so, uh, you know, I will give you a, a summary, you know. That was the girl's father, uh, in, in, a, in a nutshell, you know, and in summary. There is an alleged uh, accusation on a man named Isaac Omokri. He is known to be a pastor. Uh, Again, Pastor Isaac Omokri. And Pastor Isaac Omokri appears to be a brother, whether on a clan step, brother and a brother, to a popular Reno Omokri, who I believe served in one of these uh, political governments. And I believe he's based in either, you know, Lagos, Abuja, or Canada. But Isaac Omokri is based in uh, Abuja. And the uh, accusations of, uh, you know, messing around, uh, for a better lack of word, with uh, a young girl. And, 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 and it is now a major case in the High Court. Uh, and it is very disturbing. Uh, but as the father is making a plea, there are forces that are stalling on this case. Many people are trying to sabotage or compromise the case, according to the father. 
debates, law enforcement debates, people in uh, the justice department. So we're using this opportunity to say, let justice be served. And, and let, you know, there's one thing to ask for mercy when people are wrong. But on the other, you know, on the other hand, uh, when people are vulnerable or when the vulnerable has been messed around with, we can only, at this case, ask for justice, swift justice, total justice. And the fact that, you know, this is a man of God, a supposed man of God, uh, whereby people look up onto you for hope and inspiration and you take advantage. And there was even an interview uh, through Parana's uh, Mock News, whereby the I believe the girl, you know, you know, gave her own interview on how, you know, the the pastor, the manipulator, the you know, give us more, 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 more until yakata. So you know, wahala can't happen, you know, and and that is very, very wicked and 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 evil. Uh, and if that is true, it's still not yet proven in court. But if if it's true which it appears to be true, but we are not one to condemn, uh, it is a shame. It is a shame and, and let justice prevail. That is all we ask for. Uh, yes, we hope that, you know, the pastor, Isaac Mokri and his family, you know, find redemption and also uh, seek for mercy in the higher power as well, as well as this girl and her family seeking redemption. Uh, because sometimes you ask yourself, why do people do certain things? But the person who I won't call out for this matter said, Nareno or Mokri, where they make noise anyhow for Twitter and uh, Instagram and all whatnot. Reno, the breeze and the wind blows everywhere. It they blow. The rich and the poor, they suffer the same breeze, you know. If, so look at Dubai, for example. Look at the flood. <laughs> Rich and poor is affected. So when you they make noise, they cause people, they talk anyhow. Remember, say one day, that same breeze be blowing through your house. And now it's here. How do you deal with it? You know, we hope that uh, you also find redemption and apply wisdom. My dear people, we are not here to... I mean, we are tired of trying to destroy and slam and sabotage people, but we just want justice. Yes, as Nasi say for today, I don't talk about anything where they go for Nainda. Because I believe uh, the new news in Nigeria is everything is going well. Uh, the country is being very prosperous. Uh, you know, there's progress. The, the president is doing very well. Uh, so we're not going to, uh, you know, call on, or call on or call out on the president. <laughs> on, uh, and I think I'm not going to yap uh, our girl at the top. <laughs> now we put on there, we must take some yapping. Anyway, if we look at the Binance working, uh, you know, situation, you know, for Binance, where they work closely with Nigeria to the, uh, nobody is detained executive. Uh-huh. Uh you know, say so one escaped. If the talk to them, be three of them. One escaped with the uh, Kenyan passport, you know. And we don't know how Sinti Wakajube, Wakajube bribed himself too much. But anyway, there are about two others in custody. And uh, they are currently working, you know. Uh, they are currently working with the authorities to, you know, uh, seek justice as well as, uh, you know, pay whatever fines and make amends. Because that is what has to be done, restitution. People have to pay their pay their dues. So that is that is it in terms of the finance news. Uh our well, governments did they were in there, you know? Governments government never I, I'm tired of having to hit the government every day because we we need energy for ourselves. We need energy for our own family. Sometimes it's depressing. And are we going to rather be depressed or are we going to rather push on and move on? But it doesn't mean we won't speak up. We will always speak up. 
we will stand strong for what is right must be done. Regardless, we cannot be oppressed at all. So on that note, the economy is the way it is. For example, the uh, general officer commanding, uh, you know, of the 82nd Division of the Nigerian Army, in Tokse, I mean, not in name na Hassan, that in Tokse, plenty weapons, high number of weapons, they for unauthorized hands in Nigeria. So you imagine that. You imagine that we have a very high amount of weapons that are not with law enforcement in the hands of civilians and bandits. And these weapons must be recovered. Let there be peace in the country. We are tired of the onslaughts. Who no get here? Men and go bro, yeah, yeah. When they see what they happen for Dubai, they see what they happen for Middle East with the flooding and the rain. But then a cloud seed, you know, and a fake rain, I mean a real rain. The raining season is coming in our country. Make we build drainage. Because Dubai no get drainage and I don't see what can happen. Make we they build drainage. Make we not suffer the same fits. Let us be wise. Let us be proactive. We don't try to talk the same matter over and over and over. You know the tire on If we're not wise today, whenever can we be wise? My dear people, on that note, I rest my case. I rest my case. I'm tired. Because if I ask you to name one thing better than money, what will you name? If I say, name one thing better than money, <laughs> I will answer that for you. A good name. A good name. And that good name is why one, like me, is called Asia. A good name is always better than money. Another thing, if you must you know, ask me, is peace of mind. Where there is no peace of mind, my dear, ah, may that not be your portion. Silence is the best attitude when you are disappointed with the situation. Silence. It will never betray you. Just you know, sit for your motto. If you not get motto, sit for floor. Look up in the sky. Maybe when rain they follow, may you not go get any money or may you not see. Sit on the ground or on your car and just gaze up. Look up into the sky and you will know that hope will come. There will always be tomorrow. No matter how dark the night may be and how long the night may be, there is hope. My dear people, until when I hear from me again, my name now, uh, person will not get name, aka Isiafa Keiko. And this is the show, the show will not get name. Until you and I yarn again, my dear people, keep the hope alive. Wanna buy you? <laughs>